Welcome back to Jesso Ginatis Training. Bienvenidos a Jesso Ginatis Training. Thank you, all of you, for your support, your comments. Everything is unbelievable. How many people give me a lot of great um, uh, notes, a lot of great uh, messages. I'm very, very happy. Estoy muy contento. Increíble. Cuántas personas me han escrito, me han dado una, una, eh, eh, notas. Y, le, y, y me están eh, ayudando a seguir trabajando en este entrenamiento en vivo. Thank you also to Gimnasia Latina, to Daniel John, to Ricardo Dilo in Italy, who's been pushing uh, the, the, the training in Italy. Eh, gracias a Ricardo Dilo, a Gimnasia Latina, y a Daniel Dilo John. So now, today we're going to work in a basis floor, a little progress basis floor, and also in drills to Takacho en el high bar. So, vamos a trabajar la progresión de la base del piso y también algunos ejercicios eh, metódicas y lo que es el cacho en la barra. Good. So now, ready? We're gonna start on floor. So I go off on floor doing bases from no running. I like to do bases from standing to making the gymnast the efforts and do the right technique. So the first skill we're gonna do is a front handspring, front step. Me gusta empezar en so. El entrenamiento, eh, enseñar la base de piso. Go, front handspring, guys, go. Desde extendido, sin impulso, para que los gimnastas trabajen la técnica lo mejor, lo más fuerte posible, se concentren en la técnica y no en la velocidad. Go. Yes, he can walk harder. He can walk. So when you get the speed for the running, so you, you focus and do the right thing. So when we do it like this, no, we don't tanto in the carrera, but not in the technique. Again, guys, again, one more time. Reach out, finish looking at the ceiling, mirando el techo. Me gusta que caiga, mirando el techo. It doesn't bother me if they uh, rebound, if they rebound. No me, no me molesta si es fácil. So, with the knees, vamos a trabajar con la pierna en el, la rodilla en el piso, hands up, to develop the hard kick, to develop power fuerte, para desarrollar un pateo fuerte, para que la, el pateo sea lo más fuerte posible. Go. Again. Go. I bring uh, guys who do pretty good tumbling and guys who have a problem with the tumbling. Aquí tenemos muchachos que hacen el tumbling, tienen bastante eh, facilidad para hacer la acrobacia y otros que tienen dificultad. So, this is good for the coaches. Esto es bueno para los coaches. You're not excluding any gymnasts in your bases. Ustedes no eh, excluyen a nadie de la base. And you keep them pushing the right height basis, even they have a trouble to learning. So, ustedes siguen empujando, aunque ellos tengan problemas, dificultades en el aprendizaje. Porque in the end, eh, al final, this basis is the one that's going to help in them to do better tumbling. Esta es la que al final va a ayudar a hacer un buen tumbling. One more time, guys. Let's do just two. And uh, uh, taking these two good examples. Go. I'm going to train hand by your ears. Go. There you go. Leave it right there. So, stay there. Go back. Now we're going to work in a um, hip hop. We're going to do the hip hop. Okay. I love from the beginning. Me gusta desde el principio. I start to teach in the gymnasts front tumbling series and back tumbling series. Me gusta desde el principio empezar a enseñar series de acrobacia para frente y acrobacia para atrás. Because that's the future of gymnastics. And this is a good basis for that. Yes, 
I love this drill. It's, it's the basic for front layout. La razón por la que me gusta este ejercicio es porque es la base para los mortales extendidos al frente. So go. Bound the running bound. Go. Go. Go again. Ready? Go. Vamos ahora a hacer un poquito de tono y de espalda antes de coger las esquinas. So vamos, we're going to work it now on the rondo. Try to fix in the rondo the best we can. Vamos a tratar de arreglar el rondo lo más que podamos. First skill that I want to see is the cowheel with the very open legs and then cowheel feet together. Cowheel feet together, preparation for back end. Let's go, guys. You see in this training in life every Friday the progress of these three gymnasts. It's like a reality show. Ustedes están viendo el progreso de estos gimnastas en vivo cada viernes. Es como un como un show de en vivo de gimnasia. You're going to see how the skills that we're working here and the basics that we're working go in progress. Van a ver como los ejercicios que hacemos aquí van en progress. If you remember, three months ago, Sergio and Caleo, this is different guys, and they were different guys, and this guy who was talking at this at very uh, at late age and struggling obvious with the basics right now, this basis work is making his gymnastics better. You're going to be impressed how the little basis that he do is going to help him the high level, no matter what. Lo que estaba explicando es que los que vieron este show hace tres meses atrás, vieron que ellos, como ellos han ido avanzando, incluso él que empezó la gimnasia tarde, gracias a la base que está mejorando. He's obvious having trouble with the front tumblings. Eh, obviamente tiene problemas en el front tumbling, but in the back tumbling he's pretty good. Y en el back tumbling él es muy bueno. So, let's go, Cowie again. Cowie again, feet together. Go. And hand down. Come on. Yes. So, now we're going to do Cowie back end speed. We're going to put just a couple of samples really quick. Why I do Cowie back end speed? Why? One, to focus on that kick. ¿Por qué hacemos cambio? Back and forth. Uno, para enfocarnos en el pateo fuerte. Two, to be sure that you not finish the floor, finish block the floor in this position. La segunda, para que terminen de empujar el piso en esta posición. Why I like to finish like that in back and forth? ¿Por qué me gusta terminar así antes de hacer un back and forth? Simple. One, to they finish the turnover correctly, chest off. Without put the hands up because when you put the hands up, this is what happens. With that, cuando tratamos de subir los brazos, esto es lo que pasa. So when you go and deja los brazos bajo, your chest is up and you finish your push. Look at this. Go. You first. Uh, let they go, Kaleo first. Go. Yes, go, say. When you do rondo back and forth, when we're going to do back and forth, cuando vamos a hacer tío espalda, quiero que oigan bien esto. Your feet 
is going flat. For baguette, it's flat. You put in flat. Why? Do you put the feet inside and your baguette be long, going back? Now, when you do back flips, double backs, when you do flippings, o sea, cuando se el pie espalda, ponemos el pie plano, así, para trasladarnos hacia atrás, ¿eh? Hacia atrás. Cuando vamos a hacer mortales y giros arriba, so we rebound and the toes. Rebotamos en los dedos. To go up. If you put your feet like this, for back entry, si ponen los pies así para back entry, this is what happens. You need going forward. You understand that? Si hacemos esto en el back entry, las rodillas se van a lanzar. ¿Entendemos eso? You have any comment, let me know. You teach in a different way. Si ustedes enseñan diferente, déjenme saber. So now, from the step, from the two back entry. Y ahora lo mismo, the step, from the two back entry. Mano abajo. Very good. Very good. Very good. Tyler, Tyler. Very good. Very good. Much better. Okay. Now, also, to create a more power and create a better rondo, we do the same thing from knees on the floor. So, knees on the floor, these two only. The lady two only. To be fast. This is the only one that I don't get tired. Go. From the two back end. Yes. Good job. So we're here, oh yeah. So once again, una vez más, I like to teach in the basic front stand to the gymnast, focus, and do the right technique and look the power from the right technique. Una vez más, quiero decirle, perdóname si luzco canzón, me gusta que los gimnastas hagan la, la base de extendido sin carrera para que se fuercen más en la técnica y busquen el poder en la técnica. Ahora, now we're going to be taking the corners to do a couple more basic uh, skills. So, taking the corners. So, I'm using this in order to have more time to train. Yo uso esto para tener más tiempo para entrenar. So the guys going each corner, each corner, y así van trabajando más, van repitiendo más, and they see each other. Y ellos se ven unos a los otros, and they learn from each other. So from here, from Go. Go. Now we do from running. Now we do from running. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't stop, guys. Do it like you do in class. No more class. It's okay. Go ahead. It's okay. <laughs> three weeks ago, this guy and that guy cannot do this. Hace tres semanas atrás ellos no podían hacer eso. Uh, he doing pretty good. He get nervous. Gabe was doing pretty good. There you go, Gabe. Go. How you see? Now you see this class is in life. It's no cut, it's no edit, nothing. It's in life. Como pueden ver aquí no hay edición, no hay nada. Es en vivo como es un entrenamiento real. Eso es mal. Y les pido a los entrenadores, I ask the coaches, be patient. Be patient. Making the gymnast feel confident. I, I don't want to talk to you about that. Sometimes we don't understand it. Go. Why the gymnast getting so nervous in competition? And why they're not aggressive in competition. And the reason why they're not aggressive in competition is because you want it every time they do perfect. And when they not do perfect, you get mad. And you have a negative speak to the guy. So he feel like down when you when he not doing good. So when they go to competition, they're nervous to make mistakes. So what I do is totally different. Giving to my gym that's the confident to make mistakes. Lo que estaba diciendo en inglés, toma los aires, yo hablo. Lo que estaba diciendo es que a veces nos preguntamos por qué los gimnastas de nosotros se ponen tan nerviosos cuando fallan eh, y tienen miedo a fallar. Y el problema es que cuando ellos hacen mal algo, nosotros, la reacción de nosotros es negativa. No le hablamos positivo, no decimos, está bien, no importa que fallaste. O sea, tú le das la confianza al gimnasta. Así cuando él va a la competencia, él sabe que contigo él puede fallar. Para tratar lo más que puede, puede fallar, porque en realidad... 
Él sabe que eso es normal y que su entrenador no se va a ver, bro. Okay? So, let's get Christ through doing this now. So, happy to the power for us. So, we continue with this uh, series. Go. No. I love this combination because it's giving a lot of uh, power to the gymnast, confidence, co uh, coordination. Esta, esta combinación le da mucha fuerza a gimnasta, le da eh, confianza and developing the, the front top. Go, you go with that. Estos son tips, this is tips, uh, uh, skills, drills that I'm giving to you guys, the one that I'm using and been helping me for many years. Estos son tips uh, que yo uso, que se los doy a ustedes, que me han ayudado a mí por los años. This is not the Bible. This is not the Bible. I don't know everything. Esto no es la Biblia, yo no lo sé todo. This is what I'm using and I'm giving to you because I want to help in young coaches and all coaches in general and gymnasts. Yo se los doy porque quiero ayudar a los entrenadores y a toda la comunidad de gimnasia, pero no es la Biblia. Go, from heaven and the power of the Lord. So when the gymnast getting a little more uh, confident and getting better tumblings, we do that with the front layouts, and then we do front layout, front tucks, and it's, it's, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Cuando ya coge más confianza, se mueve eso con ley al frente, con un mortal extendido al frente, con full, etc, etc, etc. We're going now with the back tumbling, guys. Let's do again the same thing. Rondo back in, people. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, one more layout, guys. One more layout. The whip rebounders to giving the basis of the whip, the, the basis of the whip, and the serious tumbling backwards. Let's go do a run the whip jumping. Go. Me gustan las manos por al lado. Como hacemos el frente así, 
from front and out like that. So on the back was the same thing. Go shake it. And rebound, and rebound, shake it, rebound. Go. Okay, so now, now, this is the basic floor, a little bit basic floor. Do you have an idea how to uh, do uh, the class and floor and fast basis and making the, uh, prepare a day for the future? Well, esto es para darle una idea, cómo hacemos rápido una base de piso y le estamos dando una progresión al futuro. So now we're going to talk about taca choc. So in taca choc, very important. Flexibility, the bridge, we am bridging here. The bridge that we're doing, go. The bridge that we're doing every day in class is very important for Takachu. Este puente es muy importante para el Takachu. Si no tenemos esta elasticidad de hombro, cuando hacemos Takachu, we're gonna have a problem when we do Takachu. Because the gymnast every time the push, the hurts, the shoulders, or not flexible enough to make it a good push and a good turn. You see? So we need a working and this position all the time. I use it here on the floor. I use it a final mat. Sit down, uh, say you. So we're using a final mat with the feet on top of the final mat to create it. Oh. <laughs> We also, también nosotros trabajamos ejercicio acá. Right here. This is a one of the one of my fir my first and favorite um, drills for Tagacho, the bridge, just to bridge. So we do row to bridge like that. Put it again. Go again, bridge, and another drill that I do, el otro eh, tip que uso, la otra metódica, actuar un cachorro. Give more, more power, go again, more power, more power, there you go again. There you go, on your toes. Okay, another drill that we use here is right here on the trampoline. So this is not the magic thing. Esto no es una magia. Esto son cosas para darle idea a los gimnastas para el tacacho. I recommend doing this a lot. Yo recomiendo que lo hagan bastante. We do it even with the little kids. I love it, do drills, the hard trick with little kids. I love it because you're saving time in the future. Me gusta hacer todo este tipo de eh, drills con los niños pequeños porque tú estás eh, asegurando el futuro. Estás como, como uno dice, eh, ganando tiempo para el futuro. So here on the water, we use this drill. Go. Go. To simulate, aquí estamos simulando que he's on the high bar doing tacacho. Go. 
Okay? So, y estamos simulando que estamos haciendo el tacacho. We do this many times. Like we do every day circuit, como hacemos todos los días circuit, we use in those circuit every day. So, now here, we go and do this. Also, So if you have something like that, si tienen algo así parecido, uh, also you can use a little mini tram and the bar to do this. Pueden usar un mini tram y una barrita y hacerlo. So there's another way to do it. Eso es otra manera de hacerlo. Oh, I like to do this a lot because it's like you on a high bar. Two, you go. One, two, three. Pretty good. Catching the ball, Sergio. Tío, le coge la barra, Sergio. One, two, three. There you go. Good job, Sergio. <laughs> so now I have a big guy who will start to train in this skill. He will start training in this skill. No. You guys can put the grip if you want. Grip some. He needs to be more fine in front. He needs to be more fine in front. He started with this skill to do tacacho. He needs to be a little bit more fine in front to work with the tacacho. Go again. He's doing pretty good for the... For now, uh, it's the beginning. He does a lot of good for now. So that's why I love it. I'm not giving to you a guy who are already doing the main scene skills. No uso muchachos que ya están con los ejercicios grandes para use the improvement. Para que ustedes vean, es la hora. For this part, this part, this part, and yeah. So you're missing the top. You're missing the top. So now, to finish this class, after he do one more, uh, Timing. I want to use two more examples with the little kids and then one of the uh, elite guys who do Takacho. I want to show you the Takacho to show you all the, all the skills we're doing, how that works. So, sea, después eh, va a ser un turno más y voy a coger uno de los muchachos pequeños, hacer unos cuantos turnos para que ustedes vean. Y después uno del gimnasta de elite va a hacer un cacho para que ustedes vean la progresión de estos ejercicios. Vamos. Hola. first with the feet together to be more easy for me to grab them. Teaching Takacho in the beginning, I teaching the guys sit down on the bar, hitting the bar with the legs right here. Porque lo enseño con piernas unidas también para cuando ellos empiecen a hacerlo, yo quiero que ellos toquen la barra y a chocar la barra a caer sentado o darle con los muslos a la barra. Yeah, you ready? Okay. No. Tack 
But if we do the right things every day, the kid learns in Takacho. El cacho es muy técnico, pero si nosotros hacemos la, la metódica todos los días, aprenden rápido. Have a little mini trampa in here set up, set up for the girls, the girls doing that. Nosotros tenemos un mini trampa aquí, que la sembra lo usa, haciendo el tacacho, como lo pueden ver. Go here. So we go now here, doing tacacho. Subscribe to Gymnastics and YouTube. So, escríbase a Gymnastics and YouTube. If you have any question, any advice, or you want to say something, please don't feel free to do it. Si me tiene alguna pregunta, alguna sugerencia, algún consejo, o simplemente quiere dar su opinión, por favor, hágalo. See you on the next class. And the Jesso Gymnastics training and a big Jesso for all of you. Jesso! Yes.